Okay, so today we're gonna take a look at my normal game hunting routine. This is the savers by my work where I go at lunch. This is the game selection. Here we have a bunch of 360 sports games. I mean, there's nothing special here, but they are in really clean condition and they're $1.99. So, I mean, if this is what you're into, this would be a nice score. I did find a copy of NCAA Football 14 here a day before. I'll post a picture right here. Uh, so that's a nice find, but it just comes down to knowing what things are worth, doing your research and all that kind of stuff. This is where all the wires and power cords are kept. Here is a nunchuck for $1.50. You, you can't beat that. Pick up every nunchuck and power supply that you see. Everyone is familiar with this site. This is where electronics go to die. It's just junk on a shelf that will probably never move. Here's where the Guitar Hero controllers just rot. These are two Wii Les Pauls that no one's ever going to buy. Here's an overpriced PS1 for $44.99 with no cables or controller. And here's a copy of FIFA Soccer 12 for $10. Always check all the sections of the store. This is a spice rack stand. A lot of people were using these to display Amiibo. Uh, the plural of Amiibo is Amiibo. This is $1.99. It displays them nice when you take them out of the box. Here's that same shelf a couple days later. There's a copy of Jack 3, $3.99. I didn't have that game, and I would have bought this, but uh, of course, there's no disc in there. It got swiped, so that was a thing that happened. Uh, there's also a copy here of Blitz, but I already had it. This is a nice find. Here are two new inbox Amiibo. The Pac-Man is Japanese, but Robin is an American one. Never used, $3.99. Here is a Buzz Lightyear pop, or at least the head of it. It got broken off from the body. I tried to find the body. I would have liked to have had it, but I couldn't find it. I would have glued it back together. Here's another Savers. This one um, has questionable games. I mean, if you're into DDR, there's one there. Uh, Halo Reach is cool. I'm looking at this Cars game. I was going to pick it up. I didn't. I don't think it's very good. This savers at uh, this specific day is on point. I mean, look at everything. It's nice, it's clean, it's great. You go the, here on a Saturday, it's wrecked. I don't know what is going on with this R2-D2. I don't get what those things are. I don't know. Here is the wire section here where you find power cords and whatever. This is a wireless PS2 Nerf foam controller. I would have loved to have had this. It was $3.99. It didn't have its receiver. I couldn't find it anywhere, and it wasn't in the system that was in the front of the store. There's a Wii charging dock. Here is a 360 uh, chat pad, five bucks. I mean, if you need it, it's probably a pretty good deal. There's a Star Wars plug and play. And of course, no thrift store is complete without a Wii balance pad. This is the Wii Fit Plus. It should have came with that in Daisy Fuentes or whoever the hell that is game. Six bucks though is still too much. Uh, don't forget to check out the books section because here's like a sonic graphic novel. There, you can also find strategy guides here. I found that Parasite Eve 2 guide. I love this sign. Please do not leave anything after testing. And it's just, tr there's just trash all over the shelves. Like nobody cares about that sign. I found a bunch of video game board games in these sections. I found the Tetris one, the Donkey Kong one, the Donkey Kong Country one, some Pokemon ones. So it's a good place to find them. You just make sure they're complete before you buy them. Uh, here's a Five Below. In case you guys have never been to Five Below, they just sound like tchotchkes, like just kind of junk toys and stuff like that. The way I see it is it goes from retail. If it doesn't sell there, it goes to Five Below. If it doesn't sell there, it goes to the dollar store. If it doesn't sell there, it goes to the landfill. This is my favorite wall at Five Below. It is the Haribo wall, the gummy wall, five bags, five bucks. Here's the video game section. There's some Skylanders down there. I'll talk about these chargers here in a minute. And we have some headphones and stuff like that. And up here we have the games. There's Assassin's Creed 3 for the Wii U. There's Mass Effect 3 for the Wii U. There's that crappy Star Trek game. Battleborn was dead before it even started. Uh, Metal Gear Solid 5 uh, Ground Zeroes is actually great for $5. So if you don't have that game, pick it up. People bitched and moaned about it because it was too short for MSRP. Here are some Amiibo that were actually there. There's Roy, there's Palatina, there's the Japanese Rob, and then Lucas, five bucks, you can't beat it. Here's those chargers that I was talking about. I actually have the PS4 chargers. It charges two controllers simultaneously, and I have had no issues with it. It just works really well. 
this is why I went to Five Below. I was looking for this Guitar Hero Live bundle. It comes with a game and a guitar for the Wii U. Five bucks, that's what I was going for. Here's GameStop. I love collecting Wii games. There's a lot of nice, cheap ones. If you go to GameStop right now, $4.99 in less games are four for eight, so they're $2 a piece, and you can still find a bunch of complete in box ones. Uh, here's some games I was looking for. This is Poppin' Music. I've actually never seen a copy of this ever in my life, so for $2.40, I'm picking it up. And then here's a copy of Domino Rally, which I've seen a couple times, but they're both complete. Uh, there weren't four games in here that I wanted. I, wanted, I was going to pick up that arcade shooting gallery, but I didn't. There wasn't four games that I really wanted, so I just took the two and paid the extra 80 cents. As you're seeing, more and more of this is happening, just games with no cover art, no manuals and stuff like that. And it's just going to keep getting more and more like that as people buy out the rest of the, the good condition stuff. Here's actually one of the coolest things in the whole video. This is the Samus GameCube Wii controller, and here's the Mario one. Eight bucks a piece. I actually probably should have bought both of these. The Samus one is just awesome. Uh, here's the 360 section at the store. I love collecting for the 360. I don't care at all for the Xbox One. But again, they're doing the $2 piece games for games that are under $5 if you buy four. Here were four games that I've been looking for and wanting, all complete. There's Dance Dance Revolution. Here's Dance Dance Revolution Universe. Universe 2. And Universe 3. All those complete two bucks a piece. I think all the universe games are exclusive to the 360. Uh, Deadliest Catch is in there. It was 10 bucks. If it had been 4 dollars I would have bought it because I really want to play it with the noobs. I, I can't imagine what kind of game it even is. Um, that Ghostbusters game is actually really good on the 360. I beat that uh, when it came out. What else we got here? The Orange Box is great. It's got Portal. It has uh, Half-Life Episode 2. There's Cameo and the Elements of Power. That's a launch game for the 360. I adore that game. I love, love, love it. I love the graphics. I love everything about it. Two bucks. Complete is no-brainer. Uh, Steel Battalion. That game is trash. I have the original Xbox One, which is great. I haven't ever played the 360 one, but I know it's a heap. Fusion Frenzy 2. I've been waiting for that game to drop because I do want to pick it up. It's kind of one of those party games on the 360. The first one is on the original Xbox. Here's Fable Anniversary. That's the 360 version of the original game with its DLC, I believe. And what else we got down here? NASCAR, NBA, 2K. Oh, and then one of my favorite games of last generation is Nier. If you haven't played that game, go get it. It's so good. I love that game. Here is the GameStop clearance section. There are these Disney Afternoon Mystery Minis. They're actually like $5 and then half off of that, so they're $2.50 a piece. I should probably pick some up, but I just hate the mystery aspect. Here's my local package store. Uh, I go here to get Boddingtons. They don't sell this everywhere. Uh, love Boddingtons. I also picked up the Solid Gold because it was on sale. There's uh, the seltzer that I drink. Here's the Salvation Army. Love this place. Uh, the movie section here is pretty awful. I actually found a copy of Harry Potter in the chamber. Of, no, what was, what was the first one? The Whatever the first one is. The more pricey one on GameCube. I found that here. Oh, there's Burnout Revenge. That's cool. I'm definitely picking that up. I don't have it. $2.99 for games. It's all right. This Infamous 2 I paid $2.99 for. Uh, I think it's actually cheaper at GameStop. I didn't realize that at the time. But it's in like mint shape. This glass cabinet um, has a lot of these 10-footer games. That's what I call them because I wouldn't touch them with a 10-foot pole. It's weird that they put this crap selection of games in this case, but there's other games out with the DVDs that are worth a bunch more because these are just junk. They have this sign here that says, uh, please ask for assistance if you'd like to see something. And I think they put that sign in there because one day I went in and there was a gold Wii Pro controller and I just went in here and grabbed it before someone could beat me to it. And I don't think they appreciated that very much. Here's their section of, you know, we're just old electronics, just rot and die. Steering wheel pedals, there's a rock band controller. Just old junk electronics, especially those old iPhone or iPod things where they changed the input at the bottom of the charger so nobody wants them anymore. And it just like goes on for miles. Here's the, like their arts and crafts section, but for some reason there's this Pokemon silver and gold guide. I didn't have this, and it's beat, it's been used, it's been loved, whatever people say. At 99 cents, I'm going to pick it up. Here's uh, another section of games. 
I picked up that Sega GT with the Jet Set Radio Future. The game wasn't actually in there though, and then I picked up this copy of Wii Sports. Inside of that Jet Set Radio Future case was um, Jedi Knight, Jedi Academy. These games are normally $2.99 a piece, but I chit chat with the lady who works here. So she gave me the two games for a dollar each. You know, I would have bought a bunch more of those for a dollar, but I didn't want to take advantage of her generosity. And had I been getting them, you know, before she offered them for a dollar, I would have picked them up. But since it was kind of afterwards, I didn't, you know, I don't want her to get in trouble or anything. Here's the that other DVD rack that we looked at before, uh, Brunswick Pro Bowling. I mean, there's some games here. It's just stuff that you really don't want, the 10-footers that I'm talking about. Also, my buddy said this movie's really funny. She's out of my league. I saw it a long time ago. I don't remember anything about it, so I'll have to check it out. And here's a couple more things, some more 10-footers as we're seeing. Here's another Wii Fit Plus. Well, how much is this? $14.99? Yeah, that's not moving. Here's a DDR one, which is a little cooler, $14.99. I'm not grabbing it. I really don't want it. I don't need it. It's just something I'm going to be tripping over. This I definitely don't need. Tony Hawk Ride. I mean, look at that. $19.99. No thanks. No, I'd rather light a $20 bill on fire and light a cigar. And here's the kids section, and randomly, they actually have movies and DVDs over here. Uh, obviously much more kid oriented. I came over here one time and I found a copy of Mario Party 4. I'll post, post a picture here. I had posted it to Reddit. You know, just walk around the entire store and I really recommend doing multiple laps if you have the time. Go one way, then go back because you're bound to find stuff you didn't see the first time. All right, so here's the overview of everything I picked up. There's Sega GT 2002 case with a Jedi Knight Jedi Academy game. There's a nunchuck for 149. This Lego movie, PlayStation TV, is one of my favorite pickups of the year. It's 20 bucks up for that on Craigslist. Here's the Burnout Revenge and Infamous. I actually found a copy of Okami there too. Uh, there's the Pac-Man Amiibo that I picked up from Savers. Here's the copy of NCAA Football 14 that I was talking about earlier. This was the four for eight that I got from GameStop, all complete. Dance Dance Revolution and then the Universe 1 through 3 games. All really nice shape. Two complete Wii games that were $2.40 apiece, Poppin' Music and Domino Rally. Uh, here's that Pokemon Silver and Gold guide. I mean, it's definitely in rough shape, but it's all right. I'll give it a, a new life. The Ghostbusters, Fearsome Flush. I love that toy. That's such a 90s toy. Like the toilet, yeah, that's possessed or whatever. And then here's that copy of Guitar Hero Live. I mean, I, I've heard this game isn't that great, but for five bucks, I mean, come on, you can't beat it. And so here's the overview of everything I picked up past two weeks. I'm pretty happy with it. What have you picked up? What have you been playing? What have you been listening to? As always, stay nerdy. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. Getting your nerd on. I got a raging nerd on.